This video is of a tour that we did to the Horizontal Falls from Broome uh, out into Talbot Bay. Uh, I'm currently putting this video together at the end of August and we are reined in at Winjana Gorge. Uh, hence the noise in the background is the rain on the roof of the Avan. So I finally have some time um, to put this video together. The first leg of the trip was from Broome to Talbot Bay via seaplane. Here was our first glimpse of the Horizontal Falls, which is in two sections. That is the upper section, or the narrower section, and up the top of the screen you can see, just disappearing, the lower section or the wider section of the falls. Here we come for our first seaplane landing, which was very smooth, and taxiing into the home base uh, pontoons of the tour company, and these were quite palatial. They looked after us well, gave us a nice breakfast, plenty of tea and coffee, and uh, all in all, very impressive. Here's a seaplane just taxiing out to take off. This is one of the um, boats that uh, takes you up through the falls. They have three uh, outboard engines, 300 horsepower each. And here we are heading into the first, or the, <coughs> the lower level um, falls, and going through those. It's a bit wider, so the flow is a little bit uh, more manageable. Here is the upper falls, which is narrower, and there's about a three metre drop there at the moment. Um, and we just popped our nose into that. We didn't go through it because it was considered a little bit dangerous. So I guess you'd call that sort of botus interruptus. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> with the falls flowing so fast, as you can see, it was quite a spectacle. Uh, I guess if they were a bit lower for us to drive through, we wouldn't have the same spectacle. So six of one, half a dozen in the other. Gorgeous rock uh, gorge. And uh, the boat uh, operator took us back and forth through the lower falls several times, as you will see. There are 300,000 million megalitres flowing through that uh, gap uh, every 10 seconds. Well, I don't know about that, but hell of a lot of water anyway and here we go up and back through the uh, through these lower falls a few times and much fun was had by all
Then it was back to home base in time for a nice breakfast, a cup of coffee, and a little bit more excitement as Lai and I and another lady chose the helicopter ride option. It was about an extra hundred bucks a head for about a ten minute uh, fly over the falls and up the adjacent creek. So while we were having our little flyover, the others on the tour were getting uh, up close and personal with some wild, tawny sharks. Then it was on the boats again for another run up through the falls. Um, the tidal flow runs for about five hours or so, 
and then there's about five minutes of just flat calm before the tide flows in the opposite direction. So it depends upon the time of day that you're there uh, and the particular tide levels as to what your experience will be. Some folk get to go up through both sets of falls, but as I said, maybe um, they might not be quite so spectacular. If you can go through them, they're obviously not going to be flowing quite so quickly. So I don't think it really matters what time you get there, just take your take pot luck and you get what you get but we certainly had a great time. So having spent the morning up here at uh, Horizontal Falls we then uh, boarded the seaplane again uh, where we were taken to the top of Cape Levick Peninsula to One Arm Point um, where we boarded a four-wheel drive bus for the trip back to Broome uh, dropping into a number of sightseeing places uh, on the way back during that trip. And we got back to Broome about 4.30. You can do the tour directly from uh, Derby rather than from Broome. That's a little bit cheaper and doesn't take quite so long, obviously, as we don't have to travel so far. And here we are on our trip back in the four-wheel drive bus to Broome. Um, hope you enjoyed this little snapshot of our time at Horizontal Falls. Uh, I condensed this down from about an hour and a quarter of video to 12 minutes. Pretty good, huh?